Hey, what's up, guys? We're back again with the most efficient clone deck in Clash Royale. I made this because I was sick and tired of playing rock, paper, scissors every time I use clone. But this deck is built different. I've devised a clone cycle deck so you can actually outplay opponents. Even if your opponent has an abundance of answers to you, if you get elixir advantage with your collector and keep yourself alive on defense with zappies, lumberjack, and skeletons, stopping miners from crossing into your territory, your counter pushes and positive elixir trades will be off the charts. So when you venture off into uncharted territory with your giant skeleton and lumberjack, your bombs will be booming and your skeleton barrels will be zooming. Your opponents will always want a fireball or poison or big spell on top of your zappies so then they can break through towards your tower or try to finish off all the cloned up stuff that you have going towards them and when they use up their big spell they're gonna have absolutely nothing for the collector so when you stack up collectors you're gonna be collecting a lot of free wins as you stack up those positive elixir trades my crazy clone deck is hilarious to play and horrible to play against so let's go jump straight to some games and assert dominance i upload daily videos on the channel so make sure to subscribe so you never miss out and a huge thanks to everyone that's using critical Sir tag to support the channel today's video is sponsored by the rpg strategy game mythic legend if you're a fan of the auto chess genre or you like like strategy games, RPG games, dungeon crawlers, or even battle royale, you will love this game. Using your own unique strategy and tactics, build an army of champions and legends, and watch them fight it out in the arena for all of the glory. In epic auto chess fashion, there's a ton of skill required, and the best players will always rise to the top. Mythic Legends is a brand new mobile game, yet there's already over hundreds of different champions to choose from, so you can play exactly the way that you want with nothing holding you back. And it's perfect for games on the go. Every match is fun and fast pace and the customization that you can create with legends is absolutely unreal for instance my very favorite legend is one that you can unlock at the start of the game artist the empire legend allows all of your champions to gain health for me i love him on defense because it seems like all my stuff stays alive and we just continue to thrive the mythic legends rank system is one of their best features after you collect 500 prestige your ranked journey begins every time you win a battle you'll gain trophies and then you'll progress through the ranks it's really satisfying seeing your rank symbol evolve from iron all the way up to mythic and when you get to mythic you'll be able to show off your skill on the top leaderboard chart everyone in the game will know that you're one of the best i always want to try to get to the top and you guys probably already guessed it but i love the knight champions they're slow and sturdy sirs which are perfect for my defensive strategy mythic legends is one of the new best strategy games on mobile so download today using the link in the description of the video hey we got a game against the persian warrior so dude i've perfected my craft this crazy creation is something that you don't want to see it's going to be your destiny to not have a small spell or a building and let the skeleton barrel connect to your tower. No matter what, I feel like it's a good play to start off the game with that because a lot of times you're going to be able to figure out what your opponent's got judging by their counter and then you can decide, hey, do I want to play really aggressively with my giant skeleton or am I just going to chill, relax, kick back and wait for the appropriate moment? I think if we're playing against a prince player with double princess, this is an amazing matchup for me. So you guys already know we're going to head over heels in every situation I can. I'm going to go for the clone on defense so that I can just go kaboom and then... You know, not have to worry about the, the bomb and the Dark Prince and then the, the other stuff coming towards me. Because the bomb of the Giant Skeleton doesn't explode that quickly, but if you clone it up, his brother pops immediately. So, it works out pretty well if you're able to make that happen. This guy's going to go in for a lot of defense with a 4 elixir investment. I think that it's probably good because the Zappy is able to walk onto the tower. That's going to be at least one little tickle. Hey, we take that. So we're currently winning the game. We figured out what our opponent's deck is, and we know that he's going to have the Electro Wizard version instead of having Electro Dragon or also maybe having Musketeer. So it's pretty good for me if I'm able to go for an Elixir Collector in the middle because for the most part, they'll Fireball on this or they're going to end up going in for a Miner. If they go for a Miner, I can decipher where it's going to go and then I just go and use my Zappies or I use my Lumberjack. It's always preferred to go for Lumberjack because it's not going to get Fireball. It's not going to get Poison. It will stay alive and it's going to force out a lot of Elixir on the counter. Push. Wait, the Lumberjack just goes towards the tower and does two hits. <laughs> I worked for so much damage left-hand side, and then I just get free, you know, 700 damage from the, the stupid Lumberjack popping off and doing tons of value. Okay, so he zaps as well. He's not going to have that in cycle, so now he only actually has Electro Wizard to counter this. How are you going to stop me? So the Zappy is going to stop the Dark Prince's charge, I think, hopefully. And then I can clone up a little bit earlier to get more Zappies on the field. And then the Giant Skeleton might even get pushed closer to the tower. Oh, it got pulled back by the Giant. That's horrible for me. Well played on our opponent's end. I don't think he's back to Zap. So I can just go for Skeletons. And then I can go for an Elixir Collector in the back and then go Zappies. So I'm going to go Zappies pretty early on. Make sure I can accommodate both sides. Oh, it's just like RNG. Do you guess the right side? And I didn't. You ended up dropping in the other lane. 
Um, so I'm gonna go Skeletons, stop that in its tracks, and go for another Elixir Collector. I'm always keeping up the aggression, as you guys can see. I'm not even gonna go for a clone here, because I want to make sure that I don't go into an Electro Wizard and give a massive negative Elixir trade. If I can go for a free Collector, that's gonna be free value for me. Okay, so I want to go for a Lumberjack and then Skeletons, so then the, the Prince goes into that. Even if you Arrows, I think that's a huge investment of Elixir. And now you have nothing for the presumed Counter Push. I can get another giant skeleton down here, and I, I can body block the prince. I think, I think, I think. Oh, that worked out in the nick of time. That's what I'm talking about. So he's going to arrow this or Electro Wizard, so I don't want to do it again. All right, we'll go for Zappies here. I think I have to play a little bit more aggressive than I would traditionally. So I'm going to go Lumberjack. I'm going to go in for Skeletons. I'm going to try to get arrows on the left-hand side, hopefully. Um, not going to necessarily work the way we want. Oh, we got arrows early on the right. This is great. Double skeleton barrel, baby. That's what I'm talking about. And he misses the zap. That's horrible for him. That is horrendous. How is he supposed to come back from that mentally? The skeletons are going to take your tower. All I have to do is arrow you. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> the stupid cloned up skeleton barrel. It's just the method behind the madness. No other clone deck would ever win that matchup. Simply because I have collector. That's the secret to success. You get an elixir advantage and you overwhelm any opponent. Even if you have all the counters you could possibly want, if you don't have enough Elixir, you still can't afford that next Elector Wizard, Dark Prince, or Zap to finish off the Skeletons. So rushing right on to the next one, we got a game against someone from TNT. I feel like his clan is made for me. Honestly. Oh, come on, dude. I thought I was the skillless person in the Clash Royale. But he's out here just whipping out a golem in the back first play. Bombs away. This guy is not here to play. Dropping all of his cards at the start remorselessly, like... Maybe. I, I don't know. Are you going to have any remorse if you're going to go and drop this? Or are you going to spam me relentlessly if you take my tower? Ho, ho, ho. Green giant. The, this is, these are the questions I have to ask myself. If I go for giant skeleton early, then I'm not going to have anything for the night witch immediately. Oh, he's going to... got an arrow early. Wait, I can just clone this. Two bombs. That's the defense. That's all I need. Just two bombs. Everything goes kaboom. Right? 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 Come on now. Let's go! That was so clean. And I'm already back to another amazing collector. So I'm gonna go and drop the collector in the back and we'll see what he's gonna do about it. If you go baby dragon, I just ignore that. It doesn't matter to me. Baby dragon barely even touches my tower. I think I can go in for zappies here and then build up a huge push with a giant skeleton. Expect him to arrow on the zappies because that's what he did last time. And then we can just clone everything all together and win the game. Even if you have arrows, it's impossible to hit everything at once because I have way too much stuff coming at you and you have to arrow the zappies by themselves. So it's kind of like a preventative measure. Like our opponent wants to drop spells, but they can't because he knows that I have clone. And then I can just arrows instead because I'm holding elixir. This is beautiful. This is hilarious that this is working. I, I It just shouldn't be possible. Like... I mean, he would want to arrow the zappies and he would usually be fine, but now he has to and it's like the worst play ever. Oh, he's going to go in for a tornado as well. He's dropping so much elixir, but now his towers are dropping in the very end. Oh, double bombs. Oh my gosh. I guess his clan name was really foreshadowing the future with that one. Talk about a toxic way to three crown. You're jumping into the game against the alpha warrior. Time to make this man beta or maybe even a sigma male. I don't know. I, there's just too many of those things to keep up with. I have no clue, but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make this man go down a notch. So definitely want to follow up with a lumberjack and a skeleton barrel on the right hand side because those spear goblins are not going to fulfill the bill. You have to drop a lot more elixir than that. Oh my gosh. I want to clone that. I want more zappies to tickle the tower on the left hand side, but at the exact same time, I just know it's not worth it. This guy's already laughing and saying, wow. And he doesn't even know the half of it. He hasn't seen the Elixir Collector. He hasn't seen us ramp up our insanity with Clone. The creativity with this deck is unrivaled. And I feel like he's going to go for a minor and I'm just going to catch it with Zappies and he's going to be super upset. So I love this. Let's go. I choose you, Zappies. Oh, are the Zappies going to shut down everything? Oh, he's going to... Uh, yeah, that's pretty annoying. I'm not a huge fan of him having Fireball there, but I am a pretty big fan of him not having Poison in his deck. Because that's the one toxic card that can quite literally end us. I'm going to Arrows, and generally against Poison, what I've realized is you want to like bait out your opponent's Poison with Elixir Collector, and then just stack as many Elixir Collectors as you can, and then go for the clone, and then be like, hey, I had clone all along, but I don't know. Against Fireball Tornado, because I think this guy's going to end up having Magic Archer, it might be a similar story, but... I think the way that I have to bait out the tornado is by going in for lone skeleton barrels and then cycling back to a second one. So that's the game plan that I have here. I'm going for zappies and then I'm gonna drop that further back, expecting me to drop and protect the collector. And I made a prediction on him, and now he feels really bad because he's like, wait, 
I can't hit the elixir collector and the zappies at once because he didn't drop it in the middle. Oh man, I made a prediction on this prediction and that felt fantastic. Okay, so I'm gonna go in for a skeleton barrel here because if you think about it, this guy has to go in for negative trade. Oh! Well, that's the biggest negative trade I've ever seen in my life. That was a bomb tower. He meant to drop a bomb tower. <laughs> He's so salty right now. <laughs> I wish I could see his face. He's just hiding behind that angry Clash Royale emoji right now. <laughs> it's beautiful. Okay, I can elixir collector here. And then I can go for the zappies. But I was, I was just hoping for a negative trade when he would go in for, you know, the wrong card. But I guess he really wanted a massive negative trade. Dropping everything that he shouldn't have dropped. Oh, easy arrow value. Finishing off the bats and also the wall breaker. I can follow up with the skeleton barrel as well. And I feel like I'm going to feel like the skeleton king out here, guys. We're going to vibe. I'm going to tornado counter probably. I don't know. Because if you... Tor oh, no, no. I counter the log. Let's go. I push back the goblin barrel or the skeleton barrel at that exact time that it was meaning to log. So then it messed up his log timing because the, the clone delays the skeleton barrel from popping onto the tower. So when he logged, he missed everything. So if you guys haven't done that before, it's one of the best feelings in Clash Royale. And we definitely made that alpha warrior a little bit more beta. After that dub, we are 8,900 in the world. On to the next one. So I thought this guy was going to be like Jelly Button, but it's Jutton Jelly. So I, I don't know. I guess I can't read out here. Or maybe this guy's just trying to get in my head. If I can't read his name, maybe I can't read his plays. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? He has free real estate inside my head, guys. He has a freaking Mother Witch right now. That's like the worst card you could play against when you have clone. Like... Just not the vibe. Not the vibe, my dudes. I think he's got a similar deck to me. Maybe the exact same strategy. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, yeah. that That's what's happening right now. Fight. <laughs> me, but better. Because he's going to end up having Mother Witch to just stop all of my cycle cards that I would want to spam into him. And then, yeah, my Zappies are going to go kaboom. Maybe I can go for Skeletons here so then the bomb can hit. Oh, no. I played myself, guys. Okay, this is horrible. This is horrendous. I have to eat so much damage. And then I got to go over arrows. Oh, this just doesn't feel right. <laughs> now I know how it feels to miss a spell. Okay, that's that's not a vibe. That's just not a good feeling that I would ever wish upon my worst enemy. So I'm going to go for an elixir collector in the back because I'm praying that this guy doesn't have anything because most of the time they're only going to have arrows, judging from personal experience. Look at me. He's going to probably be my long lost brother from another mother. And we will see what we can accomplish here. If I skeleton barrel on the other side, maybe we can bait out the arrows and then I can go like giant skeleton on this. Oh my gosh, you are a savage. You have no sanity left over after this push. Okay, wait. He's just eating everything. Why are you just eating everything? Oh, you're a true clone player. You're a true clone player. You are red, white, and blue. True clone for days, man. This is how you play. Oh my gosh. The Zappy! The Zappy! No! You were supposed to tickle it one last time! I can't believe how much value I got on that. That's absolutely absurd. I think I just go for double elixir collectors and I eat the damage because I can't defend the tower anyway. I mean, I could have dropped a giant skeleton in the middle, but it wouldn't have defended the tower, so... It just... It didn't make sense to do that, right? So... I can build up the biggest push ever. And I think this is gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna giant skeleton on the left-hand side. I can Zappies in the right. Should be able to stop our opponent's stuff. And then I can Skeleton Barrel here. Or I can Skeleton Barrel the right-hand side, too. Ooh, there, there's so many possibilities out here, guys. What do we do? All right, yeah, yeah you guys already know. We're unloading the right-hand lane, and I think I might be able to three-crown if he messes this up. But let's go for that. Let's vibe with that for right now. All right, so Giant Skeleton won't be able to kill, so I gotta go for my own Giant Skeleton. I think Arrowzine on that is likely gonna be the wrong play, so I'm gonna go in for Zappies here, waiting a little bit. And I'm gonna Arrow. Hopefully, he goes in for a Skeleton uh, Barrel at the river. Doesn't do that. That's really lame. Lame, bro. Lame, sir. Okay, I gotta go Skeleton Bureau, Lumberjack, everything I ever wanted in my life, and then clone it up because I need more damage. I don't think that I can break through. I don't I don't think I can, but maybe I can. Maybe maybe the Lumberjack is gonna give me some damage. The Skeletons are on the tower. Oh my gosh, wait, 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 wait. No way, no way, the Skeleton Bureau. The Skeleton Bureau's raging up. It's gonna do enough damage. It's gonna take the tower. There's no freaking way that we're still in this game. This is ridiculous. We're in it to win it, baby. I, I refuse to lose. I refuse to give up. I refuse to surrender when it looks tough. We bounce through. Okay, so I want to go in for a elixir collector here and get a better elixir advantage because it seems like it's worse for me to do anything other than that. <laughs> All right. Um, he's likely going to go for like a random fly machine in the middle. So I want to go for a giant skeleton here. I want to get poised in position for a decent defense. I'm going to lumberjack on top of the cannon cart and then, ooh, double giant skeletons. That is, that is not what we want to see, chief. That is definitely not what I signed up for here. All right. That clone is pretty scary, but everything dies because we got arrows. Oh, we're back in business. That's what I'm talking about, baby. 
truly back in business. We are thriving in our element. I'm able to stack up so many collectors. I might be able to collect a dominant W. Still not a great spot to be in. Not, not a good spot for sure. I need to be able to counter this. I'm gonna go like zappies on top of all the skeletons that are about to pop off in me. But we're up a lot of elixir, like a ton of elixir, like a monumentous amount of elixir. So maybe I can go for like a skeleton barrel here. Go this, giant skeleton in the middle, and then potentially be able to defend this. I'm gonna arrows, I'm gonna clone. Clone last second, clone last second. I hope that the skeleton barrels are able to just do enough damage to the fact that the Mother Witch can't f finish off all the skeletons. That's what we're vibing with right now. That's what I'm hoping for. Oh my gosh, it might work! No way, all I need to do is double arrows, but I don't think that that's necessarily gonna be the best bet. All right, I'm gonna go in this, drop this, and then go skeleton barrel, then clone. Because I just want the skeleton barrel to pop on the tower. That's all I need. That's literally all I need. I'm gonna win this game. No freaking way, that comeback was insane. I've never had a better comeback or a more satisfying win in what feels like many months. And after that one, we are 7,600. Let's keep cruising up. All right, so jumping into this one, this guy's already gonna go in for a Fisher Boy. So usually when we see a Fisher Boy and Hunter, it's probably gonna be a Royal Giant deck. I'm not gonna go in for clone shenanigans right now because he could just deny this with, oh wait, I should have cloned that. I didn't think you were gonna go in for a Fisherman. I thought you were gonna go for a log or something. Wow, you are a greedy, greedy sir. Okay, this is, this is good. Because I can skeletons encounter all of his stuff in the right-hand side. Have the giant skeleton left-hand side maybe get pushed into him. Or I can go zappies to reset the archer queen. Oh, please reset the archer queen. Be real mean for the queen. Queen. No, no, no. She's not going to go into the bomb. I actually played myself. I literally played myself. The zappies held the archer queen away from the bomb. I feel like I'm stupid. I feel like I couldn't have played that much worse than I did. But it is what it is. All right, we're going to go for arrows here so I can kill the queen if he goes invisible. Then uh, he would be able to just pop off and get two invisibilities. I don't think that's possible, but this is a really, really bad start. I need some milk and honey, guys. I need to be a part of this man's clan to come back. I need to get soothed. I need to get cuddled. I need to get coddled. And I need to just, like, somehow have this guy not cycle a single card until I get a huge elixir advantage. This is going to be terrible. All right, I'm going to kill elixir collector here. Might end up sacking the entire right-hand tower and then all winning the left-hand side. Oh, he's got lightning. Hmm. You know what? Go giant skeleton. The Royal Ghost locks onto that. All right. Yeah, never mind. All part of the plan. Completely calculated. So he's going to Archer Queen. I guess we can go for like a Lumberjack and then Skeleton Barrel and all our other shenanigans right now. I don't necessarily think this is going to work that well, but we got to try it. We got to make it happen for the memes. I'm going to go for the clone. I think that the Lumberjack might get in front so we can get the giant skeletons to double bomb on the tower. No way. That's, a, that's incredible. That's a ton of damage. That is literally back in business right now. After one stupid push, that's all it takes to be successful. You can play like an idiot the entire game. And then you just get that one lucky push. That's all it takes. All right, so we're gonna go Zappies and we're gonna go for a Lumberjack. And I think that the Royal Giant dies without taking my tower here. I really think it only gets one hit. Oh, does it not get a single hit? How'd that happen? Are you kidding me right now? Am I just built of luck right now? I, I feel like I'm the luckiest sir on this planet. There's no reason for me to win this game. There's literally no reason. I played like a bot. I literally forgot how to play Clash Royale. And I'm winning. This is so sad. Am I just gonna win every game today without knowing how to play the game? Is this what Clash Royale has devolved into? If you guys want to win easy games and just cruise up ladder, look no further. Play this deck, assert dominance, and make your opponent just leave the game because they don't want to even try to come back. <laughs> this guy was super sad at the end. GG, well played a peace out. We stole all of his milk and honey. And now we're getting all that money, we're getting all that gold, and we're 6,500 in the world. Like, subscribe for more daily content, and have an awesome rest of your day.